Whoa, 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 guys. We have a couple more days until the Chuggy TV show officially premieres. Hope you guys are as excited as I am. Hello, welcome, Slashers, and I'm Crypt here, and welcome back to my channel. Now, for today's video, I'll be doing a uh, Chucky TV series update. This is most likely going to be uh, the last technical Chucky TV series update. This is probably going to be the last of one of these videos before the premiere of the show. So, with all that said, let's get into this video. I want to talk about some of the pictures that we have gotten for this show and I can't forget that I'm gonna be reacting to it some scenes that were actually shown on sci-fi because I still need to do that but to start we got Chucky pointing his knife at us he's looking pretty amazing as ever I love this shot of Chucky here this is seriously the best Chucky has looked in a very long time to go on to the next picture we got Chucky just standing there holding his knife up, looking like I said, amazing as ever. I think the promotional stuff for this series is amazing and out of this world, and I believe that they did a good job. They did a lot for this show. And then to go on from there, we got a picture of the main kids in the show, and they're all posing and stuff. And I'll actually be talking about them here in a second. And some of what people have been calling them by their full name isn't correct, so I'll be showing that later on in the video but then we got a picture of tiffany walking through a house it overall looks nice though the vintage look of the house is really nice we got more pictures of chucky looking mean as a motherfucker and then we got a picture of jennifer tilly with some plastic wrap over with the caption saying sometimes acting gets a little messy so i'm assuming that tiffany in the show gets drenched in blood maybe at some parts or maybe one of the dolls because as we see there's a doll in the shot so maybe one of the chuckies gets really bloody or something i want to next show these like little article things and i'm not gonna read it but if you guys are interested here are just the things from the article it's talking about the chuggy tv series and stuff there's the first page and then there's the page after that and there's one picture in this bunch that I keep seeing a lot and people are saying because they see this like sculpt of you know the stitch face Chucky in one of these shots and a lot of people have a feeling that the stitch face Chucky may return which it can definitely because I don't think they actually technically killed the thing. But a lot of people are reading into this wrong in my opinion because I'm pretty sure the sculpt that people keep bringing up of the Stitch Face Chucky is just the same sculpt that Tots uses for their dolls. I literally have one in my house. It's literally the same sculpt. So it's just that same sculpt really. I just wanted to bring that up real quick, but I just wanted to clear that up real quick. If you guys want to read what's on these pages, you guys can pause the video. I'm not going to read them, but I will move on to the next stuff. I want to mention these really cool shots of the characters and their posing. There's like, you know, Jake Wheeler and he's like standing with Chucky and then there's a shot where he's not. And we got more shots of the gang of kids in the show. We got Chucky sitting in a chair. And then from there, we got Alex Vincent talking about Hackensack, New Jersey on Instagram. He's showing a picture of him standing next to a sign. And he goes on to say that he's actually from Hackensack, New Jersey. I never knew that about Alex Vincent. I want to talk about those characters real quick and tell you guys their full name because... I know that all of you guys either know their first name or you know what their supposed last name as well as their first name and I want to just break it down for you guys. So you guys may know Jake as Jake Weber. He's actually a Jake Wheeler and he is apparently portrayed as the loner. Now moving on to Devin. A lot of people knew Devin as Devin Lopez which is what I knew him as as well. It's actually Devin Evans. And he is the true crime enthusiast. You guys may or may not have known Lexi as Lexi Taylor. She is actually Lexi Cross. She is not only apparently the spoiled princess, but she is the daughter of the mayor in the show. And then Junior, I'm sure you guys thought that he was also Junior Weber, but he's actually Junior Wheeler because I'm sure you guys know by now. 
Jr. is related to Jake, and he is apparently the moody jock. Moving on from there, we get a cool shot of Chucky guarding a door, and of course those are Lexi's feet, because we've seen clips of them in that same room together in It's Lexi. Before moving on, I want to uh, showcase for you guys a audio that was posted by Fantastic Tilly on Instagram, and it's an interview that Jennifer Tilly did, and I'm just going to play the audio, and I'll get back to you guys. And then you see, actually, Tiffany and Chucky meeting for the first time. And there's flashbacks to how their relationship progressed. And I know Don thinks that I'm ageless, but uh, apparently I can't play a 17-year-old. So they hired this wonderful young actress to play young Tiffany. So I think the fans are going to love that because Tiffany fans have always been clamoring for a Tiffany Chucky origin story. And this actress actually looks like me. She's half Asian like myself, and she has a, a voice like mine, like I'm Really can't wait to see it. I read the script. When I was reading, I was just astonished at how bloodthirsty Tiffany was. Because, you know, you get very attached to your characters. And you sort of justify what you they do. So I thought, you know, she's really a very sweet, compassionate girl that, you know, once in a while kind of has a little slip up and kills somebody. But she's not <laughs> a killer. And it's pretty, it became pretty aware from reading the origin story. No, Tiffany's a killer. She's got that bloodlust. I thought... You know, Tiffany, Chucky would do the killing and Tiffany would stand by admiring like my hero. But, um, <laughs> you know, Tiffany's kind of the instigator, actually. So when I read the backstory, my character is absolutely bonkers in this TV uh, series That's and great. she's become sort of a master criminal. So I kind of incorporated that into her, that she is really sort of off the rails, like she's truly unhinged at this point. So I find it really interesting how it Jennifer Tilly describes Tiffany as this bloodthirsty killer and she goes more in the depth on her personality and that she's just a very messed up person and then she even confirms that we will get Charles E. Ray's and Tiffany Valentine's backstory and we're even going to get a look at a younger looking Tiffany. She says that apparently the backstory of Tiffany will feature a 17 year old Tiffany and they had to get a different actor for her like an actor that looks like Jennifer Tilly but is obviously younger apparently that still kind of has the voice from what she was saying I am excited to see who they have playing as a young Tiffany I don't think they'll disappoint I've always wondered how far back Charles E. Ray and Tiffany Valentine go I've always been interested in seeing the backstory for that, so I'm glad they're exploring it because I've always wondered. I'm sure you guys have, and I can't wait to see how they do it. And I'm sure they probably got a younger Charles e. Ray for the role too. If they got a younger Tiffany, like she was saying, then I'm sure they got a younger Charles e. Ray. It would only make sense. And what I'm talking about next is pinned to the stitched Chucky head thing that I was talking about, how it's just pretty much the sculpt for the Todd stalls. And yeah, that head can still return, but what I'm talking about has nothing to do with that now, since I talked about it earlier. But it's something else this person posted about, and I do really want to talk about it, because it's interesting. So, um, apparently we're gonna get a Gwen reference in the show. And I'm sure we're gonna get more content referring to Gwen and Gwenda I'm sure that this may or may not be the only time that they're mentioned maybe they'll even appear in the show for all we know but I want to read what Domi C says here about a conversation that Jake and Chucky have and it's when he's reading the, the little newspaper or whatever we've seen shots of this but I'm gonna read it one of my favorite dialogues on the show is when Chucky is reading Jake's diary Mancini says okay so it's a diary it's not a newspaper where he goes you should call it crush Devin 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 Jake is embarrassed Chucky goes well I have a queer kid Jake is like and you're cool with that Chucky goes well I'm not a monster Jake I mean you you kill people but uh, I'm just gonna take a word for it, Chucky you're not a fucking monster I guess but that's an exchange that they're gonna have in the show 
and i mean honestly i've been wanting like i, I don't care for gwen that much i'm not a big fan of the character just for the main reason that seed chucky for me i i don't hate seed but i definitely don't like it that much and i feel like it's a a really bad turning point for the series as the series started to take itself way less seriously than I would like and so I don't like Sea of Chucky that much and I'm not the biggest fan of Gwen I don't hate Gwen though just to get that clear I uh, do want to see uh, some kind of closure to those characters though just by this exchange we now know that Gwen is most likely alive and I'm pretty sure Dominic has even made a comment about it. Gwen having a boyfriend and running away with them or something like that. I forgot where I heard it from, but that's what Dominic said in response to a comment about Gwen. Dominic has confirmed it as being canon pretty much. And so I'm wondering if Gwen will appear in the show as a whole because I don't want to just forget about them. I know Sia Chucky for a lot of people is a very sour movie, but I wouldn't want to forget about that movie. That's just my opinion though. What do you guys think? I think some closure on those characters would be nice, but I want to know your guys' thoughts. And before I get to the reactions, I have been seeing that people have been enjoying the new Chucky TV series because some people were actually able to go to the New York Comic Con, you lucky bastards. But overall, it seems like you guys are enjoying the show and I'm super excited. Just to name one person that actually saw it and enjoyed it. This person on Twitter said, Chucky is easily one of the best horror film to series adaptations I've seen with it being a franchise continuation from the very start. This brings it back to the young adult focus from the Child's Play trilogy with a sweet blend of carnage and camp to keep any fan happy. So I've been seeing comments like that and I'm glad to see people are at least to join the show. I cannot wait to watch on the premiere. I will be live streaming my reaction. I cannot show the show though in my reaction due to copyright. So I apologize to the people who were wanting or hoping that I would be able to show the show for free on my live stream. I'm sorry, I can't. I uh, do not want to risk my channel getting taken down for that. And so it'll just be a simple watch party. And if you guys can make it, that would still mean a lot. And the last thing I have to talk about before these reactions, I've been getting this question a lot. People have been asking me about the UK and if the show is actually coming to the UK. I've gotten this comment quite a bit. People are asking me if it's going to air there or what about the UK and ask me exactly what's going on with the show coming to the UK and when it's gonna premiere and whatnot. This person actually replied to me on Twitter because I asked Don Messini about it and he didn't reply, which I get because he's a busy dude. But this person had replied, Don had tweeted that the series will premiere on Sky October 21st in the UK. He didn't mention a time or anything, but apparently that's what's happening for the UK. I know it's a little bit late, but I'm still happy that everyone in the united kingdom will at least get to enjoy the show whether it be late or what and i'm glad that i got this answer because i honestly had no clue i wanted to just answer this real quick and show this off for you guys because i definitely don't want anyone to be left out of the show and i'm hoping that all of you guys will be able to make it to the premiere which if you guys don't have cable just get swing that's what i'm getting to watch this show swing is pretty much ju just like cable except it's 35 dollars a month and they have sci-fi i looked into it i think it's one of the packages that have sci-fi because i know that there's different packages and whatnot but it's pretty much just like cable but that's my solution to this i'm not sponsoring swing at all i mean unless they want to but I'm not sponsoring it, okay? Nothing like that. I just wanted to give you guys a way to watch it. If you guys want to see this show and you don't have cable like me, there's an alternative way to watch this show, and it's Swing, and that's where I'm getting. It's cheaper than Hulu Package. The, what is it, like $75 a month or something? That's fucking insane. I just wanted to... Say that real quick for anyone who 
doesn't want to miss out on this show. And now, on to the reaction for those quips I was talking about earlier. We're going to react to them right now. First sneak peek clip to react to. Let's get into it. Well, my fiance grew up here actually, right in this very house. Oh, okay. I. I oh, jeez. It, it's just been empty ever since. <gasps> ever since the murders, yes. Oh, so that is Charles yeah. Lee's uh, childhood oh, home. So it was your fiance's parents that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, so many memories. Wait, is that it? Let me see if I can find a longer version of that. What brings you to Hackensack? Well, my fiance uh, grew up here actually, right in this very I guess, house. Uh, oh, okay. I. Because the last one cut off randomly. It's just been empty ever since. <gasps> ever since the murders, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it was your fiance's parents that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, so many memories. Yeah, that's um, like that's Charles Ray's old home, and maybe because it's abandoned, and maybe the house that the kids are going through, and one of the TV spots is this house. I'm not 100 percent sure though, but it seems like she's gonna buy that home and fix it up, and who knows? Maybe the picture that we do see of Tiffany and that vintage looking house maybe it's that house fixed up and everything it wouldn't explain how vintage it looks but i don't know man i'm just throwing out theories oh so he does get for 10 but i thought he actually got it for 20. damn man we're out here paying 500 dollars and 2000 for fucking good guy dollars and that'll be all for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video I just want to say real quick, thank you guys so much for the support on my recent breakdown of the Chucky TV series trailer and the TV spots. Man, I was not expecting it to be such a big fucking hit, but it was. And I appreciate all of you guys for popping in and supporting the fuck out of that video. It was hard to make because I had been working on it for days at the time that I made it and released it and everything. It took me days to actually finish it. It was not an easy upload. And so I'm thankful for you guys supporting it and showing it love. People came in and showed their support. And it really means a lot. And it makes videos like that feel worth making. And I just want to just voice my appreciation for you guys. I really appreciate all of you guys. And real quick, I just wanted to bring this up. People were correcting me about this on my breakdown video the woman that chucky's on top of i said that had a theory that it was nika either possessed or free of chucky's possession having a brawl with chucky for whatever reason and come to find out a lot of people just told me that it was the curly haired teacher from the frog dissection scene where she tells that kid to mind their fucking business and so I wanted to just bring that up real quick. That's the teacher pretty much. And it's not Nika. And I just want to clear that up. Because that's something that I got wrong on my breakdown. And I just want to acknowledge it real quick. If you guys enjoyed. And if you're not subscribed already. Please subscribe. And join Sister Posse family. And become a slasher. I mean if you want to. And share this video as, you know, it really helps the channel and everything. And it'll help this video get out there. All social media links and my merch down the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching my little, I guess my last Chucky TV series update before the show actually premieres. So I'll see you guys on my live stream because I'm going to be live streaming my reaction to the show. Like I said, I can't show it due to copyright, but I'm out of here. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget, guys, to keep on slashing.